All right, so Proxmox version 8.3 is already released here. So we will see what is available in new version. So it has the enhanced Proxmox virtual environment as we have already seen STN, which is software defined network. And it has the alignment of software defined network stack with the firewall. So it is a great option now because this is what I was thinking that we need to have STN and firewall in a way that whenever we define any network, so our firewall should also correlate to that. So I'll show you that also how it will be done, but we will first look into what is available. So webhook target for the notification system, this is great feature because if you want to have integration, so most of the times if there is anything going wrong in Proxmox, so I need through webhook to let me know through either by WhatsApp or by email or by any other notification system or even Microsoft Teams. So there are other features. Tag view is there, support for the Ceph squid, and then faster container backup is there, migration from other hypervisors. You can have now OVA and OVF format through graphical user interface that we will see. Uh, there are tons of additional features available. CTO has said that our virtualization platform is designed to empower the enterprise with unparalleled efficiency and control. We have seen great growth for a long time now. Proxmox is really adding a great value to the enterprise, to the virtualization environment. So we'll be simply clicking here on proxmox.com slash downloads, or you can click on downloads. So it will take you to new Proxmox virtual environment. Here, ISO images can be downloaded. So 8.3.1, 1.45 GB is the download size. So we will simply download this new version and I'll show you how we can install step by step. So I have a new server. So where I will be installing the Proxmox VE 8.3. And here, so you can just download the data sheet and understand what is available. Free and open source, of course, with enterprise support, storage replication, ZFS, all of these options are there. Live migration can be done. Software defined network is there. So I have already covered all of that in the video. You can see how the software defined network works in Proxmox virtual environment. Features like disk management, two factor authentication, uh, VM template and clones. These are some of the great features. And then the key features are the command line and REST API through REST API. Of course, you can integrate with other applications from other applications. You can manage it. And then you have Android application where you can manage a Proxmox virtual environment, all the nodes. So all of these features I have already mentioned in detail in my review video. In order to upgrade uh, from 8.2.2 or any other version to the latest version, now, for example, I have 8.2.2 and I want to upgrade this. So I will be covering that in next video. So you can see how we can upgrade the version of Proxmox, uh, existing Proxmox to the new and latest version. So how to install it in the next video, see how to get started with the Proxmox version environment 8.2. 3.1 latest release in the new server. So let us continue to the next lecture.